Welcome to today's episode. Um, listen, I'm not a big tech guy, like, like phone tech guy. I do carry two phones, but I'm not like on top of it all the time. But today, I'm gonna download the new iOS 13 and let you know my first in interactions with it. So, let's roll the intro. Alright, so welcome to the episode. Yep, I am going to download the new iOS 13. I've been doing a bunch of research. I watched a Sam Sheffer video. I watched the MKBHD video. I know he did one on the iPhone 11. I'm not quite sure about the iOS 13. I'm pretty sure he did. I've watched a few of them. So anyways, this is my phone right here. I'm going to put a screenshot up on the side here. This is my phone right here. Um, this is all the, uh, well, this is my phone. I'm going to download the new iOS 13 here. Uh, we go here software update and I'm not a bit like first of all I don't like my iPhone 10 I absolutely it's probably my least favorite phone there's a lot of bugs and glitches so I hopefully that this app app uh, this iOS update will change my perspective so I'm gonna download it I'm gonna plug in my password and we're going with update requested come on Well, it's downloading. It says it's gonna take an hour. So, I'm doing this outside by the way, it's just a beautiful day out. All right, sit back, relax, enjoy the day. Coke, perfect. Okay, so I uh, just finished downloading. I see the Apple logo coming up. It's getting exciting. I really hope that this iOS update will make my views of the iPhone 10 slightly better. Right now it is on a scale from one to 10, one being I absolutely hate it and I'm never going back to Apple ever again and 10 being like uh, it's my favorite phone I've ever had. This is like somewhere between a four and a five. That four, four and a five. Um, so I really hope this changes my perspective on the iPhone 10 and possibly even Apple. On dark mode so iOS 13 is officially done going so right so this is kind of cool when you download it they give you the option if you want to do light or dark I'm gonna do dark I like dark mode better press continue and uh, this is iOS 13 let's uh so basically from what I've researched the volume is nicer so let's wow that is so much nicer okay let's look at the menus here my menu stayed the same Okay, you know what, let's go to notes and try the keyboard. So notes, oops, notes. All right, so I heard there's a thing now called, I think they're calling it quick swipe or something like that. It is something that Apple's calling quick path, or as I'm gonna refer to it as the swipe keyboard. It's like swipe keyboard. So, uh, hello, my name is John. So that's how you, oh, sorry. Can't spell my name today, John. All right, so that's how you would normally write it, kind of go, Wow. How, so how do you do double letters though? Hey, space, my space, name space is, 
Wow, so the swipe is kind of cool. Okay. Let's see what else there is. So there's dark mode on... I can't show it. Yeah, so there's dark mode on all the native Android... There's dark mode on all the native iPhone apps. Message... Whoa. I'll set up that later. So iPhone now... Now, now all the native stuff in iPhone, all the native apps are all dark mode. That's a really cool feature. There's a bunch of other ones. So far, I'm really loving, like, you no, know, throughout the day, I'll play with this throughout the day and I'll come back later here at night and tell you exactly what I think about, uh, and tell you exactly what I think about the new iPhone. Okay, so it is eight o'clock at night. I've had a bunch of time throughout the day to play with iOS 13. I love it. Absolutely love it. I was like, I was a little scared to download it because of like it's new and I want all the but. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like I think having this will change my experience on the iPhone. One thing, uh, one thing that I did realize is that it did download uh, two apps by itself. There's a shortcuts app where you can make your own shortcuts. Is what it seems like. I haven't. I'm playing with it right now as I talk about. It. Um, you can add your own shortcuts. Um, and then it, uh, uh, it has the iTunes remote, um, which I don't remember having, so I think it automatically did that. But anyways, I love, love, love iOS 13 there. Um, I, I watched a video again today of 13 re Reasons Why iOS 13 is Great by Sam Schaffer. I'll link that down below so you guys can watch that. Um, anyways. I'm gonna end this episode here. Guys, iOS 13 is amazing. I'm not paid in any way to say that because Apple's a pretty big company, but Apple, let me know. Anyways, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Download iOS 13 today. Um, I, I love it. I, I think it's gonna change how I interact with my iPhone um, in a more positive direction. So, um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right.